Hello everybody and welcome to XCOM 2. In this game you control soldiers through a particular set of difficult missions with a variety of objectives. This reminds me a lot of the Bad Batch TV show. Following the reject batch of clones from Star Wars, completing a load of missions with a variety of objectives. So I thought, why not smash them together? So I'm going to try and complete XCOM 2 using only the four Bad Batch characters and any additional Force characters from the game. I've set up the settings for this game to extend the game and I've added in the DLC for a bit more flavour, but in general the rules are that I can only use these four guys unless the game is giving me another character. There are a few missions where that happens. The first hurdle, however, is that the game starts with randomly selected soldiers. So how is this going to work? Well, I am going to play this first mission with these random soldiers, get them all promoted, and then give them drastic surgery and drastic makeovers so they look exactly like the Bad Batch. That's how this is going to work, and then from that point on, I can only use those characters. So, without further ado, Let's blitz through this first mission and get them all promoted. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. So with that mission done and all four of them promoted, I can quickly assign the four classes to the Bad Batch and then we'll get on to the transformation. The four classes available in XCOM 2 are the Grenadier, which is all to do with explosions and blowing stuff up, so of course that's Wrecker. The Ranger, who the gets up close and personal with all the enemies, so that'll be Hunter. The Specialist, which involves technology and computers, I mean, if that's not tech I don't know what is. And then finally we have Sharpshooter, which is pretty much just crosshair as a class. So there we go, we've assigned them. Now to make them all look the part. And we have got them. So, up first we have got Hunter. Now unfortunately, the quite the exact face paint wasn't available, so I've gone from a, um, for like a kind of blood splatter kind of view, he's got his bandana, we've got the red kind of nature going on, but obviously the white from the clone trooper side of things. 
He's got gifted uh, combat intelligence, which is something I was with complete luck, but makes a lot of sense. But overall, this is our leader, our ranger, our hunter. Up next, we have got Wrecker. So if I actually customize him a bit, there we go. That's our that is our Wrecker. Now the eyes are the, the the nice touch, and the scars I think kind of really do make it look like him. Uh, the white and the red again to try and keep it all within everything else. However, he is lightly wounded, so he may not be there for our first mission. We then have got Tick. Or, I, I, I don't know, I can't say his name without thinking about how Omega says it. So, we've got the uh, kind of darker grey here, because he's not as white as some of the others. And the red, uh, he's got the signature goggles, the hair that is kind of receding, and I just kind of like this look completely. And then finally we have got crosshair. Now unfortunately there isn't actually like the targets face paint that I could go for, but uh, you know what, I feel like this is not too bad overall. So uh, he's there, he's kind of dark colours, the eyeshadow kind of just makes him look even more depressed with the buzz cut. Yeah, he's just a kind of a bit worn down and a bit done. Besides that, we've got standard combat intelligence here, we've got another gifted t combat intelligence in terms of tech, which makes sense, and then standard for uh, Wrecker. This just all makes sense, which is very, very nice. But now we can actually get into the rest of the game. So, I'm jumping to the main part here. So this is where we've got all of the kind of choosing of what we're doing. The idea behind this game, which I will have outlined in the opening, is that aliens have taken over the world and we are the resistance movement. This is the plan overall. So the idea is we'll be doing little missions to try and wrestle back Earth from the alien control. We have got our own research and our own engineering situation, so we're going to jump into our research, which is Tigan. And we are going to start a new research, which is going to be modular weapons. Now, modular weapons will give us the ability to attach little different things to our weapons. And so, given that these are the characters that I'm going to be using throughout, I want their weapons to be pretty damn good as well. We also can now jump to engineering, where we've got this woman, Shen. She is the daughter of the character in the first game, if anyone played that. But the idea being is that here we can build facilities, which will help us improve things, but also some items as well. So we are going to grab a medikit, and we're also going to grab a flashbang, just to be ready. And then hopefully, annoyingly, Hunter's not available, but we can maybe um, give it to the others for now. But the idea being is that the Grenadier, which will be Wrecker, which is kind of our demolitions expert, can kind of just explode things at will. But yep, here we go. We're going to head off into our first period. We get to investigate an area. So it's, this is going to give us the opportunity to get some rookies, but we don't really want them. We're just going to use our main guys. Um, I need to work out what happens if this just this uh, this strategy just becomes far too difficult, and then I end up with like no one very quickly. However, if I can just kind of build this up, then it should be very good. So we've now got this ability for modular weapons, which is really nice. Good, we can start to use that. And we are now a uh, technology breakthrough for a construction. Ooh, a workshop construction. That is good. If I go here and then look at my build facilities, just to show you, this is what we've got to play with. And I could try and start to excavate. I don't have any engineers in order to do that, so there is a large part of it. Oh, there's an empty facility here. I could go for a, this or this, and then I could go for a workshop. Oh, you know what, this this could be good. I, you know what, I think that's a nice, good boost to get straight away. Let's jump back to command. I don't want to be here. I want to be at the globe. Here we go. We want to get into our first fight. This is the main part of this game. So there's all these bits back here, which are nice and strategy, but there's also the fights that you can do around and about. So these are other people. Maybe I will just turn all of these guys into clone troopers in the other one. Because we've obviously, in the most recent series of Bad Batch, do have a few other clones who are on the, um, kind of on the team. So maybe that's the way to do it. Is to just, I have to, if they are available, I have to use the main four. But otherwise, to use, um, to, I can allow to use one or two others. So here we go, we're going to review these targets and we can get an engineer from this. I just have to destroy the alien relay, that's fine. You know what, that's good. So for this first episode, which will just be up until this point where I finish this mission, I will just be using uh, everyone, which with the main guys, so that means you're not coming. But these three are here, so I will give Tech the medikit, which is good, and I will give Crosshair, I think. No, I'll give you the flashbang which is nice. I'll also want to edit one of your weapons. 
Now, I'm not sure whose weapon it's probably better on. I'm going to go for Crosshair, just because the Sniper is one of those things that we could really do some really good things with. Especially given we have a Repeater, because there's a 5% chance to instantly kill the target. So if we take that and apply it, yes, that gives us the opportunity to um, have a few more, maybe a few more hits. So let us head straight into this mission. And let's see how it goes. So obviously Wrecker just got injured and is now recovering, so he can't come on this mission. But these three should be able to do it themselves. It's a relatively easy mission. First mission of the game. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, fine. Let's begin the mission and we'll go for it. The thing is with this game is that they are quite brutal. If you fail a mission, then you do get set back quite a way, especially with a few other bits and pieces that are happening. So I, yeah, I went for a lower level difficulty because of the additional challenge. So yeah, here we go. Oh, thankfully, it's not loading too long. I remember on my old laptop this used to take forever to load, but we are going to go in and start to do some lovely things. Oh, we're buried. It's one of these underground missions, which I always find a little bit tricky, but we will see how it goes. Nice. I may drop Hunter's um, colours down a bit. It just looks a bit garish, but you know what? That's, that's how it be. I'll make all the... If I make these guys a bit more light and then everyone else can just be very much the other colors maybe i'll give them designations and random names so uh, that kind of works so let us move in and be quite um very very stealthy i don't want to worry too much but okay i'm going to keep overwatch on and then crosshair you need to really get somewhere that you can see so let's go here i'm hoping that that gives us a view through there Okay, well maybe not yet. Let's go there then. Well done, Hunter. You can move forward. You may be wondering why I put them all as, um, what's it called? As Australian? Well, the issue there came in the fact that they are, obviously the actor is, I believe, Kiwi. But we don't have this really, that opportunity to do it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, okay, okay. I may use that opportunity there to get a nice shot off on one of those two because cross the entire point of crosshair is that he's going to be far away and be able to shoot at them a lot so let's move up and let's wait here they can't see me but i can now get a better view of where they are okay they can see across there that's fine um i kind of want to give an aid protocol gives them more defense so if i was to give aid protocol to um to a hunter i can move around to here to get a viewpoint here if I then actually, I think the first thing I want to do is before I decide what to do, I'm going to just let rip one of these. I could try and take out the advent trooper. Now that could be a good shot, or I could just target the officer. I think the issue is, is that I need to get better at this game in terms of action economy. So if I go for this guy and take him out, maybe I'll have the opportunity to, um, it'll be less of a problem. But then I could try my hardest to take this guy out throughout this turn. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Let's try. Nice. That's six damage. That's a good shot. I think that's half of his health already. We are now revealed. But yeah, that's half of his health. Let's deal with this very quickly. And that moves us into a situation where they are a lot closer. So you are now able to get a 60% chance of hitting there. That could be very good. That's nice. This is how the Bad Batch is wrapping up together. Um, and then I can choose whether or not what to do here. I could probably try and get a 67 across there. That's a 54. It's our best shot. Let's go for it. Nice. That is how we do it. The Bad Batch are efficient. Now we've got this last guy who's now on his own. And it means he's going to run away. Because he is scared that we just took out his main guy. And there's going to be more people on the right way. Which, is a, which isn't great. But that's the thing. Uh, given that I can get through here. I may try and get you up here now. Crosshair. That I think would be very good for you. We may have just spotted someone else. Did we? No, we didn't. That's nice. Uh, I kind of want to move us both. Uh, both of these guys can move around here. I think is good. Gives us in a situation where we are a little bit a little bit stronger. And we can put on an overwatch in case someone runs towards us. There we go. That's a far away shot though. That's not really Hunter's tactics. Hunter's normally better up much up close. I'm going to also want to reload now, I think. So we can see that there's another guy there. That's kind of good to know. But there. Okay, we're going to want to quickly reload. And I want you to reload as well, actually. 
just to be safe. Um, and then you're going to stay where you are. You're going to move over to there. Just give us a little bit of a run forward and see if you see anyone. Yes, we start to see some people. So these aliens are terrifying. These aliens can kind of mind control my people. So I'm very much hoping that we can deal with it. And I'm not going to let them really take over my um, problems too much. So if I was to look here, there's a 73, 71 and a 55. Do I just try and take one of these guys out? Because that could be very, very strong. Um, there's no chance percent of a crit. Um, but there is an aim... I'm doing alright. I've got high height advantage, which gives me a much bigger boost than hitting. And they've got low cover. If I could destroy their cover... But you're the one with that gun. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually just... I'm going to go for an aid protocol on you. Just to keep you happy. And that leaves me, I believe, with just crosshair. And I'm going to just go for it. Why not? Let's try our hardest to take out one of these guys. Nah, not every shot's going to be a success. That's that's the fine. Negative damage. I need to just really push up one of these. There we go. You're going to come out here. Are you going to try and do something to one of our people? Yeah, you are. That's a shame. Oh no, you're just reviving. That's absolutely fine. Now you can be my target this time. They reanimate the dead as well. That's something I forgot to notice. Oh, that's fun. The worst part would be if they tried to, like, um, what's the word? Mind control me. That's the problem. That's a shot and a half if you manage that. Honestly. What are you doing? What are you doing? So you're a bit far away to actually shoot at any of us. You're going to shoot over oh, back there. That's a hit, though. Well done. Well done. Honestly, that's pretty super impressive. So you're there. That's good. We now have got the ability to shoot you, or we could go for the you. I think that's the one to go for. If I go for a slice, we don't really want to go for you, but we could go for you. I think is the way to go. There. Yes. Because the getting rid of this guy is the main target, I think. Nice, you've got melee vulnerability, and that's a nice shot there. That Objective seems very located. good. And we've spotted the main thing, that's good. We're doing alright, we're doing absolutely fine in this one. We've got a bit of a thing, we could do some medicate heal on himself. We could also try here to try and take out one of these guys. So both of those are, you know, a bit of an awkward position. That one's just a bit far away. Um, just trying to work out, I can't get anywhere there. I think the best bet we have here is going to be to move a bit more, a bit round. And try and take out a shot on one of these guys. Um, a 39 here is quite good. There we are, nice. I realised as I was saying it, the 39 actually wasn't that good. But that extra hit is probably worth a lot. So we've got some 75s and then a 55. There's a 55, it's 4 to 6, I'd have to do max damage uh, there. But these, and this guy is quite close. You know what, I'm going to try this. I've got a good shot on him. Let's go for it. Nice. That's five damage. Okay, this, these guys are very, very close to death now. That's good. So you're heading here. What's your plan? Okay, you're going to try and mind control him. Honestly, that could help me in a weird way. Because of something else that's happening. Because now you're not going to shoot at him, are you? You're just going to go on Overwatch. Now I just need to try and deal with this guy. You're shooting there. Come on, don't don't hit. Nice, nice. So the main target is... Hunter's now been mind-controlled, but I, I do have the opportunity to take this guy out, is the main plan. Unfortunately, we've just got a med kit and one of those. So that's fine. That's annoying. If I take him out, then that is like a lot of boosts for my game here. So that is the target. Oh, I need to reload. That's awful. Can I get a grenade there, though? I can. Let's get a grenade there. This can be your saving grace. Nice, 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 nice. Boom. Three damage. I know that that's normally Wrecker's thing, but there we go. And then here, we have got this opportunity 79% chance. Come on. 79% chance. Nice. So that both removes the zombie and it also frees up Hunter to let me have a go at something. Which means I could now, with a 100% chance, take that guy out. You know what, might as well. Boom. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Now we've just got this one guy left who is now, I believe, going to try and... is running for it. That's good. 
gives us an opportunity to reload. Like oh, we've got uh, we've got one of those. That's uh, unfortunate. We're going to pick up whatever this is, which is an Elelium core. That's fine. That's a useful thing to have, I think. Uh, we're going to make sure we reload here. Uh, we do have this interesting position now because they're going to jump down here and take some out some people. Um, I'm debating. I think it's worth just getting you into cover for now. There we are. And then we see if anyone comes. Um, you know what? We're going to hunker down. It's always better to hunker down. And then you are going to have an overwatch, I think. is the best thing to do. Because then these guys are going to jump down and we can get shot straight away. It's only two of these guys as well. That's fine. Oh, and a commander. Hello, guys. We've taken out one of you guys already. That's absolutely fine. Oh, you're running away, are you? Oh, that's an annoying miss. That is a very annoying miss. Okay. We're going to try and deal with these guys as we can. We are in a bit of an awkward situation. It's annoying that it's now their turn, and they get a turn immediately upon landing. Oh, no, they don't. Good. I was about to say, that would be very, very unfair. So I could get a shot on there, or I could try and take out one of these guys. Um, I'm just trying to work out what the best thing is here, because I've got a slash, which means I could go for one of these guys. Um, and then I've got you. And you could go for that, or we could try and get a flank. I was about to say, if I move to here, that gives me a flank. But it also puts in a position where this guy is in a flanked position. Which is nice. Okay. Um, I kind of want to just do this attack and hope it works. Nice, that's five. It means I just need one more hit here. And I think that I'm going to use the opportunity to slash this guy to get away from everyone else over here? Or do I just move to a position which I means I could be and protected? Because that's the thing to think about as well. I could go there and shoot at him. Or do I just go like here and shoot? Because the th that's the thing, is I need to work out the best. I think here is the best. That's good. And then you've got 100% or an 84%. Come on, 84. Nice. That works, that works. Good. And now I just need to work out what this guy wants to do. And we've got a 51% chance of hitting. We might as well try it. Come on, come on, crosshair. Make your name. Boom. Sorry for that clap. That probably peaked the microphone massively. But you know what? What are we going to do? Oh, no. Someone is moving around. Okay, that's a weird choice. There's another load of these guys. This is not fun. Okay, we've got an interesting thing here. We've got a lot of enemies. I was not expecting so many. But it's, uh, it's the, uh, the sectoid is the one to go for, and it gives us an opportunity and a reason to shoot at this guy. Oh, you're marking me. That's fine. We're going to go upstairs and try and um, do a few other things. But you've now given me the opposition to be here, which is very nice. Um, so first things first, I think the only smartest thing is for you to go... Can you not go up? That's interesting. I feel like if I was to go here... Maybe I would recognise that there is one there to go for. And then I go slash. I should be able to get to you. Yes. Which puts me in a really good position. And you get 8 damage. That's nice. Okay, now we've got these two guys. And there's a 55 chance of hitting that. Which is okay, I guess. I just need to get you into a better covered position. Um, Where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? Obviously, we have that opportunity up there. You have got the position to just... That's the one. It's like, I feel like this is the place to go for them. There is where to go. I think that's nice. And then if I... I could heal myself, or I could go for like an Overwatch tactic. Or I could give aid protocol to um, you, Hunter. Let's give aid protocol to Hunter. Just so, because he is in the like the thick of it. And then we are in a position where we just need to start fighting. And then you... I mean, I could go for that, or I could... I actually have a better shot on this person. So let's try it. Come on, if you're going for this sort of thing... We missed, of course. I do a bit, That would have been a bit of a fluky one. Which is nice. Let's see. So you're moving, and you're going to shoot at me, maybe? It's a miss. Thankfully, I think the additional cover is a big, big boost here. 
Okay, cool. Tech, you're going to be... Oh, Tech's in a tricky situation here. I need to make sure we're in a bit of a safety spot. Oh, you're shooting up there. That's going to be a miss. Honestly, this is just not really on. Where are you going? Are you going to shoot at me or are you going to shoot... Yeah. That's a miss, thank God. There's heavy fire in this zone. We're in a bit of a nice spot. Yeah, we know you're shooting at that, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, this is. there are a few things here we need to think about. So we've got one more shot here, which we could do at that. We could aim for that, or we could go for that. You here, I believe, if we were to do this, why would I do anything other than go here and deal with you if I can? Nearly vulnerability, you've still got one left. Oh, great, that's not fun. Um... There we are. We have the opportunity there. We've got an opportunity there. I think it's just going to have to be to try and take up one of these guys. Come on. That's four damage. Two people are on one HP. That's annoying. Um, you know what? We've got a reload. Can I get somewhere that's really good in cover? Here. That's the place to go. And I am going to heal myself. Medicate heal. That's good to keep myself very happy. That's always very nice. And then you're running away to there. You're probably going to shoot at me, right? Damn, not nice, not nice. Don't climb. Oh, God, this could go badly. We still are up. We're still up. That's important. Come on, you can't aim at them from there, surely. No, that can't be a hit. Wait, what? You killed your friend. That's pretty solid. And you're marking crosshairs now. Okay, the fact that you took out your friend was a, was an interesting ploy. But we are now doing some interesting spots here. Okay, what are we going to do? I feel like I just need to deal with this person as quickly as I can. Which is annoying. Because I now could... I don't know. We do need to reload. We're going to go. Which is interesting. And now you're you're the one that they're after, actually. If you hunker down... I'm debating what to do here, because you could just deal with this person. I'm thinking if I go there and shoot at them, there's no way I could get any problem there. Come on, there's a 100% chance to get rid of them. This is the thing. Is like The reason I'm thinking we may need to add some extra guys in is because these, these missions just aren't straightforward. Okay, I could give aid protocol to either one of these guys. I think I need to give it to, to Hunter, just to give an additional boost to being found. But the fact is, is that they are clearly after Crosshair at the moment. There we are. Good. Nice. And I've still got an, an opportunity to attack someone. So let's go for that and do a 49% chance of hitting. She misses. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. I'm just hoping that they don't really, they can't shoot up there. Oh no, you're reloading. Of course. I forget they eventually have to do that. That's good. You're shooting up here, but you're hunkered down. Should give us even more ability to kind of shoot them. That's nice. So you're now wanting to go here, which is nice. Um, I actually need to work out what I want to do. So there's a 75% chance of hitting there. This here, we've got an ability flashbang. Um, I can make you reload. I'm going to move you back here, actually. Okay. Just to get you as safe as possible. And then we're going to drop a flashbang, literally. Can I get both of them in it? I don't think I can. I think it's more important to get you in it. So let's throw this one there. Be nice. So disorientate at least the advent officer. Because that, I think, just drops the chances of it doing anything down. Then we go for... I think we're going to have to go for a reload. Ready to go. Nice. And then I need to move you to a better position, just because you're really not in a good position. Moving so that works. And then we're going to have to just go for the shot there. Come on. Be a, be a hit, hit, hit. Nice. A critical six. Perfect. And the fact that he is disoriented. That's good. Come on, please tell you can't see that. No. Thank God. Oh, at this point, when they've not got much health, it is a real worry. Nice. Oh, you're going to mark me again. That was a weird choice. Nice. Okay, that that person there needs to be dealt with. So I think I may move you over here, which is a flank. 
which is good. If I can do an 84% chance to hit here, that's nice. That's three. I was about to say, a swing here. I can't really do much damage there. Um, I think your best plan is to actually run away and get somewhere that they can't, this guy can't get at you. Um, I don't know where the best place is though. I'm trying to find somewhere that's just like out of the way. So we're going to need to, a reload would also be good. So I'm going to, if I can get somewhere within one and then hunker down. If I do this and then left alt, I can still see everyone. I was about to say, I'm just trying to work it out. I think that if I go there on target position now. and I hunker down, let's just hope and pray that they don't get anywhere near that. And you're the last person who needs to just try and take out this advent guard with a 55%. Come on. Nice. Okay, we've got one enemy left. One final enemy over here, which is good. Who is run over here? Please tell me you can't see me. Oh no, you've moved over forward. That's it. Fine. Fine. I'm happy with that. That's good. We've got 13 turns after this to delete, destroy this, which is good. So, with a re reload. Nice. We're going to move you just around to the front here. Whereas here, we are now going to shoot at this guy. I need to probably try and get a flank if I can. Where's the best flanking position here? There's good. Perfect flank, which puts us in a position to just deal as much damage as we can here. And that's three. Good. And then finally, you have an opportunity. 71. Come on. Come on, Crosshair. This could be amazing. Amazing. Perfect. We've dealt with that. I think that should be all the enemies. That is all the enemies. Good. And then you can just now start... We can start wailing on this thing. Which is good. Amazing. We need to reload. And you are going to just start wailing on it from above. Good. Oh, great. I, I honestly am surprised we've got this far. I do think that we're going to have to... Um, I'm going to move you a bit closer as well. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. We do have enough time to destroy this thing, I'm pretty sure of it. Considering we don't really get much, um, there's no fight back now. We just kind of just aim at this thing as much as we can, which is good. Boom, that's five. And then how much left has it got? Is it like three? Uh, you can shoot at it from a distance. Five, maybe this will be enough. Crosshair from a distance does four. Who's going to get the last one? I think given the ringer that he's been put through, I'll let um, Hunter get it. Boom. We are done. Well done, Hunter. Well done, the team. The Bad Batch has completed the first mission successfully. Now, I hope you have enjoyed watching this. I'm going to, between this episode and the next episode, make us some backup people who are just going to kind of do bits and pieces and are end up being, like, trained by the others will be the story in this. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this idea, please do like and subscribe and do all those lovely things, and I will see you in the next one. ta -ra.